For many parents, they provide a vital service, but today's report suggests one in four nurseries is running a financial deficit after lockdown. This one in Boscombe is part of a chain which is facing some difficult choices. We've um, survived COVID-19. We've been allowed not to pay business rates. We've had furlough. We were already struggling for underfunding. So the government pays the local authorities to pay us around about £4 an hour. It costs us at least £5 an hour. Um, and it's increasing because we need to be able to pay our staff. Apprentice Stacey Launder has first-hand experience of just how underfunded the sector is. So I only get £6.70 an hour um, being apprenticed. Um, so that's really not a lot for myself being a mum either. For what we have to do for the children's care, um, it's not a lot, no, not at all. Yet many parents are also struggling to pay for childcare, even if some is covered by the government. I think financially it's, it's not really viable for either party, to be honest. Um, and childcare is such a fundamental um, service. In Plymouth, Kat Endicott Foster's already dealing with the closure of her twins' nursery. It's been forced out of business, leaving her with a three-month wait for a new place. For me, I'm in a no-win situation. I have to keep my children home. I, you know, they're my children. I'll look after them. That's fine. That's what I'm here to do. But developmental-wise, Ruben's very bright and very intelligent and very clever. So he's not being challenged. And then I've got Reggie, who's like with the needs he's got for his learning, he's not being challenged either. So it makes it harder for me and for them. Nurseries like this operate on wafer thin margins at the best of times, but the pandemic has pushed them to the edge of what is financially viable. And it's going to mean that many will be facing a very bleak future over coming months. Without urgent intervention, many childcare providers say they'll simply go bankrupt. If lockdown brought them to their knees, they warn the end of furlough and tax holidays will finish them off. Dan Rivers, ITV News, Boscombe.